Today, we are going to compare an iPad mini to a Kindle Paperwhite for reading manga. Let's jump into it. All right, firstly, let's measure the difference here so we can get an idea of the actual picture here. It's like four and three quarters by six and a half. Four and three quarters by six and a half on the iPad and three and a half by five on the Kindle. So there is a substantial difference in actual size right off the bat. So I have the iPad mini on the left and the Kindle on the right and the Kindle fits right inside. The Kindle Paperwhite fits right inside the uh, iPad. Uh, so reading your manga, I brought up a, uh, you know, a classic here, Attack on Titan. And the cover is in uh, color on the iPad, but the book itself is in black and white. So I thought a good comparison with the monochrome Kindle would be a manga because most manga are black and white. So let's see the difference in black and white, not color. The last uh, video I did was comic books, but comic books are in color. Manga is mostly black and white, so maybe there is not such an advantage. The Kindle looks very sharp, right? So far it looks, very, it looks really good, but I think the iPad looks a little sharper. I gotta be honest. Even though the monochrome is not taking away from the color, because this is in black and white. Mm, they both look pretty good. Wow. Right? This is a little more conducive to the Kindle. Because it is in black and white. The guided view, I have a little bit of trouble on the Kindle. Sometimes it doesn't do it. When I want to zoom in on a panel instead of the whole page. Sometimes it doesn't do guided view so well. But I think the iPad is a little crisper. Uh, the hues and the tones and the lines are a little sharper, I think. Triple kill! Alright, let's go to another comic. Let's make it fair. And we'll do another book as well. Let's look at an older book, Astro Boy. This is like, what, the late 70s? So that's why we can uh, swipe right. Because I guess they weren't doing that. They were still doing it Western style to the right. But the new manga, you swipe left. Just like you would read it uh, Eastern style, you know, uh, right to left. All right, but the Astro Boy is a traditional style here. They both look pretty good, right? And now I switched them. I put the Kindle on the left and the iPad on the right. This is just regular reading. I like the Kindle. You can see there the regular reading. I think the Kindle is a little bit better. But for comic books and manga, this is about manga. Let's see what's going on here. Let's get a, uh, a visual. Oh, they both look really good, right? Man, I have to clean off my iPad. Look at it, it's filthy. It's like I ate dinner off it. I'm using it as a plate. I'm eating off it. <gasps> All right, you know, again, the size does make a difference. A little bit of a bias to look at it. But I think the iPad is a little crisper. These are both off of Comixology. I downloaded both of Comixology uh, because now the Kindle and the uh, Amazon and Comixology just uh, merged. So Amazon just uh, took in all the Comixology stuff. So on your Kindle, you can download now comics and manga from a Comixology account. See, I think the iPad still looks a little crisper. Look at it, right? I love the guided view. I think it's awesome. But the Kindle does do the job. If you want to use it as a manga reader, it definitely works, right? It looked, but that monochrome look works well with the black and white. It's close, right? It's kind of tough. Maybe I like the just the bigger screen because I think it's easier to read and to follow and to go along with. But let me know in the comments below like what your uh, preferred e-reader is. If you want me to do another video on a different e-reader, I happen to have a Kindle Paperwhite and an iPad Mini, but I mostly use the iPad Mini. Let me get this full screen to get the page here. Let's look at one more shot here of a side-by-side. Uh, -side. Here we go. Looks pretty good, right? Let's get one more book to make it fair. We did an old book and a new book. We did Attack on Titan is pretty new, and Astro Boy is old. Let's get... Uh, Alita Battle Angel, because this book's in color, right? 
all, you know, 90% of manga is in black and white, but some of the books are in color. And I think Elite Battle Angel is, um, a lot of it is in color. So let's go through a, uh, colorized manga now just to get a uh, different uh, perception, different point of view. I think the, the letters maybe in reading on pages like that might look pretty good, but on visuals, I'll oh, see the iPad is really popping, especially with the color. It makes it pop off the screen. But if you're a fan of that monochrome black and white noirish look, it might be for you. Like this picture here looks fantastic, looks terrific. Even though on the iPad you can see it has a little bit of bluish hues in there, but for the most part, this image is black and white ish, you know? So it's not so dependent on color. But I think when color comes in, it really pops. I, uh,. I love seeing the color pop off the screen, like the iPad, the, the character is popping out of the panel. Let's uh, do guided view, where we can see panel by panel. But the Kindle does look pretty great. So if you happen to have a Kindle, you want to save some money and not buy a new e-reader, you can use it for uh, manga and comic books. All right, so on YouTube, I don't see a lot of side-by-side -side comparisons. I wanted to do a comparison side-by-side. -side. Um... Let me know if I missed anything, if you wanted to see something else. Look at this. I mean, to me, the I, I, I like the iPad. Wow. Kindle, those look pretty sharp though, right? It's pretty cool. It's impressive, right? I think, uh, cause I'm doing more than 50% of my reading right now on e-readers, as opposed to physical book. It's easier to find copies of books and to grab them quickly to go through them. Look at that. That looks great, right? All right let's look at this one here. Because this is like a black and white image. So, somewhat, right? It's not really so much dependent on color. Let's get a side-by-side -side comparison of these two images. Because only the light from the window is really uh, colorized. So let me bring the Kindle to the same page. Pretty good, right? All right, let me know what you think. Left or right? Kindle Paperwhite or the iPad Mini? I guess if you had an iPad too, it would be even bigger, the image. And if you had a fancy iPad, maybe a sharper image. If you had that, uh, uh, some of the more upgraded ones, this is an older iPad Mini, but um, nice comparison though, right? Pretty cool. The Kindle can hold its own. It does a good job. All right, so let me know if you like this kind of content, if I missed anything. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, maybe I'll try to make another video if you let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see a comparison of. I hope you guys liked that video. Like and subscribe if you like the content here. It really helps the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.